Hello everyone, Roy Kirkhouse here again. Today I'm going to work on this little piece. This is an 18 by 12 canvas piece, black and white photo that I printed myself with just using black and gray inks. Stretched it on thin stretcher bars. And again, I'm going to hand color and paint this just like I did last time with tower number five. So the idea here is I'm going to add in impressionistic abstract-ish sky ignoring what's here now what I want to do with the ocean I kind of want to replicate what I'm doing up here as it's like it's a reflection I'll, I'll get to that later uh, what I'm going to do anyway this is um, Seagrove Park in Del Mar California so it's a long exposure and fortunately for me this couple here was sitting very still so they're still sharp in it and the rest is kind of blurred. You can see some motion in the clouds and the ocean. So let's get this done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to again add with a heavy gesso uh, on top of the sky, leaving the rest untouched. Also using a little bit of coffee grinds to give it a gritty texture and I'm going to put it all on with my palette knife to also give it some extra texture. Okay so first let's put on some coffee grinds. I guess it looks like I'm running out already. I'm going to put on the gesso with this spatula.
because I would like to add a little bit of more texture with this smaller part of the of this palette knife and the gesso. this dry now and it's probably gonna take the whole day and then I'll continue with this tomorrow. The piece is dry, took almost a day actually. Um, so let's get some paint added. So first let's take again some white. And some cadmium yellow and cadmium red so we're going to make a very light orange and we'll start from the center here by the way you can see nicely how the coffee grinds here added this texture uh, to the piece so we'll take a little bit of red Put it all in the yellow. It's a nice, very subtle light orange. Again, start, like I said, start in the middle. This is where the, the sun is setting, or has just set. On the actual original photo, the sun also had already set at this point. Okay, that's good for now. Now let's take a little bit of black. up a little more orange add that into our mix I think I might want it a little lighter here, so we'll add a little bit of white. some alizarin crimson and 
we'll throw it in the mix we had before. Okay, let's try this. exactly going in horizontal lines up we have a little bit of a curve here to it and then I would like to add some blobs of this color in the previous layers some more black this might be a little too much let's see no I like it Take some thalo blue. Quite a bit of white again. That's a strong pigment, so we don't want to take too much. Okay, let's see what we got. I also want this, the squares to get bigger again because it, really the top of the sky is closer to us than the bottom. And then add some more black. And this is again to break up that same color, so there's not too much of the same color. A lot more blue. Plus the previous mixture, which will desaturate what we have. black. Could turn out awful, we'll see. Yeah, it's very dark but I'm gonna put this on the way on the edges. in a little bit. It's very dark at the bottom here too, like a silhouette, so maybe that's a nice 
composition this way. Could still be a little darker even. Let's do that. Let's add a little bit more black even. Not 100% black, so I'm adding it in the mix here. But over time this will get overall a little darker still, because this is acrylic. So this has to dry now. I will let that happen overnight. Take some time because the paint is put on so thick. But tomorrow I'm going to color the ocean, trying the same approach, except that for white paint, I'm going to use an impasto. So there will be like, it will be like a thick glaze. And so hopefully that will work out. I have not tried this yet. Um, and you can still see the structure of the water of the ocean and still have that like textured layer of colors on top of it. It's dry. So let's put on that impasto. So I prefer to work the other way when I put on the paint. So I'll turn this around. And don't worry, I'll, I'll turn the video around too. So I'm going to use this impasto. like to add some kind of aquamarine color. So I'm going to mix that first separately. So that's phthalo blue and cadmium yellow. And I'll take a brush. color at all so first I'm gonna mix this part in here so this impasto is like a, a clear acrylic medium let's see what it says on the it's a clear gel acrylic medium It's, it's not completely, when it's wet, it's not completely transparent, but when it dries, it gets more transparent. It's a little hard to work with, especially because it's not quite transparent yet, so it's hard to say what this is going to look like. I 
and if you put it on too thick then it, it becomes too opaque so this is only tomorrow we'll see what this is gonna look like That's, this is the look I'm going for. I want these, this texture. some fresh new clear and pesto. It took way too much here so I'm taking a little less now. And I want to change more towards a, a clearer blue, a purer blue. So I'm taking that just a thalo blue.
to go with Sailor Blue. See, I'm also not adding any black like I did with this part because now it's so transparent. We're making use of the gray of the photo underneath. And now to make it more complete. I would like to have that texture down here too. We'll just take some new impasto and do it with an almost clear version of it. This is has, has some color but because it's so black there it's gonna be not that noticeable. It just, just completes the image. Do we have that texture down here too? Okay, and now we'll have to let this dry and we'll see tomorrow what it looks like. Okay, so this is also dry now. And the last thing to do now is with my acrylic medium, I would like to add the black glaze in order to desaturate a little and to add a little bit more texture with, with black uh, onto the piece. Acrylic medium. So this is a much more liquid form of the impasto I used yesterday. Some Mars black. Mix those two together. Add that again with a sponge. I'll make it a little wet so I can still remove it. This is this is too much, but I'll remove the excess later with a paper towel. So it's like adding in vignettes, but also desaturating the color more because I, th I still think this was a little too saturated for my taste. Of course, if you like it with saturated colors, definitely leave it that way. But this is the look that I'm going for. Okay, move it a little bit more here. And then fill up a few of these spots here.
there was a little too much white coming through. I think that's it. So again, I'm going to let this dry and then we'll see how it turns out tomorrow. So it's finished. I'm happy with how it turned out with the extra blackish wash, grayish wash that I added to it. Put a little barnwood frame on it. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more of my work, also please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.